Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm actually very excited to make today's video. It's been a long time since I took the car out for some performance tests. It's been really hard to come out and do videos, mostly because it's been raining and the roads have been wet, but luckily it rained yesterday. It didn't rain today. Everything is dry and we can actually go out and do some freaking tests. Okay guys, so the last time I took this car out, it was just after readjusting the MSS springs and I was getting 4.55 seconds, zero to 60 time consistently. It was 22 degrees outside and because I'm a very, very patient man, I've made no modifications to the car except the PPF and I've kept the car as, as similar as possible when I did those tests so that I can take it out and see what difference the outside air temperature can make. It was around 22 degrees centigrade when I did those tests. I'm gonna check them again. 22 degrees Celsius. I don't know if I'm an old fart by saying centigrade. I don't know. But tonight it's 11 degrees. I don't see any stars outside. It's It might rain at any minute. So I need to get these tests done. What we're going to do is we're going to warm up the car. And then after we've warmed up the car, we're going to do three zero to 60 time tests with the draggy just flooring it and then we're going to test it with one launch control traction mode this time i've i rarely use traction mode probably ever since i said how great traction mode is i've never used it so tonight we're going to use traction mode uh tire pressures they're at 2.1 bar which which means they're about 2.2 i think the sensors always show less than what's actually in the tires they're okay let's go get this done before it rains the other thing to mention too is if we can get these tests done before it rains, we're gonna go add some weight to the car. We're gonna load it up and we're gonna see what difference about a hundred kilos of extra weight in the back of the car is gonna make. A few moments later. We've properly warmed up the tires in the engine. We are ready to start the tests. It is now 10 degrees outside according to the car. We'll see what Draghi says about the temperature too. And also the temperature of the tires has gone up from 2.1 to 2.2 on all four tires. So, let's do it. So yeah, maybe the PPF is making the car slightly heavier. But at the end of the day, it's also got slightly less fuel. So I think even if it's 5 kilos heavier, that's like 0.06% heavier. It's not much. And it won't make that big of a difference to PPF in terms of weight. Sport Plus and all that was 4.39. 4.39. Verified. Whoops, opened the wrong thing there. 4.39 verified. So we we are getting faster. I think I should skip launch control on this one and do one more. Just flooring it. Well, I mean, right now we're faster than we were last time because it's colder. The tires were obviously colder. <laughs> So there's obviously a little bit of a balance that needs to be reached between performance of the engine and performance of the tires. Got this guy in front of me, but we'll do the best we can. So I'm gonna put it into traction mode and all that. Let's go, there's nobody here. Just making some more space. On that crazy launch right at the end that wasn't half well it wasn't anything really we got a 4.6 seconds that's the last one we did 4.6 seconds previous to that we had done 4.39 seconds verified I think getting heat into the tires is what made the difference I'm not too disappointed with that 
it's still more than 4.2 seconds that I was getting before the MSS springs, but it's definitely less than 4.55 seconds. So what I'm gonna do now is, first of all, I'm gonna fuel up. So that'll add, I don't know, 20, 30 kilos in the back of the car. And then I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna put a 20 kilogram weight in the back, and then I'm gonna load some five kilogram weights in the back. I, anyway, I'm, I'm planning to load up to 100 kilos in the back just to see, does that extra weight in the back mean more grip? We're gonna take the car down to uh, to the spot. Hopefully that guy left, and we're gonna do some zero to 60 times with more weight in the car. So we put 42 and a half liters into the back of the car and that's about 32 kilos now in the back of the car. That's it, the back is fully loaded. Can't get any more in there. It's all cat litter. It doesn't matter, cat litter is heavy. So I'll calculate how much cat litter is in the back of the car right now. We've got a lot of cats, okay? We've got a lot of cats. So that's uh, 30 kilos of extra fuel, 20 kilos uh, weight, plus 16 bags of cat litter. So I'll calculate exactly how much extra weight that is and off we go to do another test. A few moments later. I'm back in the same spot. Uh, it still hasn't rained. Clouds are, are building on top of me, but I think we're gonna make it at, at least to get one run in. We still have 2.2 bar of pressure in all the tires. We still have about 10.5 degrees centigrade outside, Celsius, God damn it, Celsius. And uh, the only thing we've changed is we've added more weight to the car, okay? So we've added 16 bags of 4.5 kilograms each. That's 72 kilograms, I did that on my phone, I cannot calculate that fast. I've also added the 20 kilogram weight. And also, I think he's doing his own tests. And also I have added uh, the 32, 33 kilograms of, of fuel. So all together, that's another 124 kilograms we've added to the back of the car. Let's just see if all that extra weight in the back results in extra grip and better zero to 60 times. see this one 4.65 this is the worst time so far <laughs> but maybe the car maybe the tires cooled down a little bit driving to get petrol and driving to get back no 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 we're gonna do a few more for the last hurrah and then we can go home we're not gonna do a launch I'm gonna floor it sport plus gearbox to sport still stage one still XHP stage three let's see what we can do nah it didn't feel very good didn't feel very good and this is it now we can go home Thank you, car. Let's see what we actually got. 4.72. Yep, 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 yep. It didn't feel very good. So the extra weight, it didn't help after all. The times got worse with the extra weight. Is this a surprising result? 
I suppose it's it's not a surprising to me I was hopeful that maybe somehow I could add some extra extra grip on the back but unfortunately unfortunately I didn't accomplish it so it's not just a matter of extra adding some extra weight in the back that's for sure I got below 4.55 seconds so I'm pretty confident the outside air temperature made a difference however I did not improve my times by adding weight in the back I've uh, done very meticulous scientific work and I've helped chauffeurs around the world uh, determine whether or not having someone in the back of the car whether that improves performance for a rear wheel drive car or not there you go I am happy to be of service to chauffeur drivers everywhere and the answer is it will not help for your rear wheel drive car <laughs> Okay guys, now that we've gotten that out of the way, I think I can start to continue the modifications and other, other activities with the M140i. I didn't want to do any, change anything until I had made these tests today. I don't know how interesting you guys are going to find them, but there you go. I wish I did the, the launches properly, but I didn't manage to do them. So what can I say? I suck. Okay guys, see you in the next one.